In today's video, we're starting off with our first coverage of a parachain hopeful. It's almost polka dot season. The parachains will be going live shortly, fingers crossed. And this means we will have a chance to bond our dot tokens to projects in order to receive their tokens in kind in what is known as a crowd loan. Simply put, these projects require dot in order to be staked to win an auction. If they win the auction, they get a parachain slot. For putting forward our DOT tokens in this crowd loan format, they then give us their tokens. So in this case, the A star token, which in essence is like payment for giving forward your DOT. The DOT would then be locked for a 24 month duration. At the end of that, you will get them back. So this is mainly about opportunity cost of bonding your tokens. Now we're starting here with A star. This is one I'm super bullish on and I think will be very valuable. They've already secured a Kusama parachain and I'm sure they will get a Polkadot one as well. If you want to see more coverage on the Polkadot ecosystem, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we dive into my top picks. And if you wish to see additional content and join our private community, check out my Patreon link down below. So in this video on screen here from Chico Crypto, he actually interviewed briefly Gavin Wood, the creator of Polkadot just yesterday. And in this, Gavin pretty much says the Polkadot parachains are good to go very soon. The Kusama ones have been going well. So it will be up to a community vote via Polkadot governance to now start the parachain auctions for Polkadot. So these Kusama ones have been going for some time. Unless you've been living under a rock, you won't have heard of these. The first batch went through. Karura, the Akala token, has been given a slot. So has Moon River, Shiden from A-Star, Kala, the privacy token from Fala, and Bifrost as well. So those ones have already gone through. We're now on to batch two, which started up recently, and we're now on the ninth slot auction. After successful bids from these parachains, Kilt, Kalmari, and Basilisk. So with Kusama running through these rather quickly now, we can expect DOT to be next up. And this will probably be over the next few weeks that we hear from the DOT ecosystem that we are good to go with these parachains, which of course means you need to own some DOT tokens for this process. I myself have bought quite a lot already, but I will be adding to them on this dip as I think there's a great opportunity cost of not getting involved. Just check out the Moon River price to see exactly what I mean. Those who got involved with that one on Kusama have made a pretty penny. So let's have a little look at A Star. What is it going to do and what are they going to set out and achieve? Well, they call themselves a multi chain polka dot dap hub. Essentially, this is bringing smart contracts from different programming languages to the polka dot ecosystem. So this is almost going to be like a generalist smart contract blockchain. Now, these guys were formerly known as Plasm, and I got involved with the lock drop for this one back last year. And I'm sure some of you guys watching at home also did likewise. And ASTAR is now the polka dot native dap hub supporting ETH, WebAssembly, dap staking and layer two solutions. So these are the main talking points for this protocol. You can go dive into the app itself. We'll have a look in just a second, but let's just roll through here. So that lock drop that went on last year, they managed to lock up 150,000 Ethereum. So clearly a lot of community support for this one. And this is one of the reasons why I think they will definitely get a slot. They have 30K community members, a very big Discord, very big Telegram chats, and a bit of a global appeal here. They already have support from over 40 projects, and they're looking to dive into the likes of DeFi, NFTs, and DAOs. We can see the CEO, Sota Watanabe, is from Japan, a very smart individual. I think he's about 26 years of age and has been doing a heck of a lot of work here to push this project forward and forward quickly. They've got a lot of development under their belt, lots of Web3 Foundation grants, and are definitely one of the leading projects in the Polkadot ecosystem with the things they've achieved so far. Now, this project wants to be the heart of a multi-chain future, and this is what we're moving towards, and it's so evident right now. 2021 has been a big year in the multi-chain landscape. We can see the different blockchains that are popping up all the time and gaining real traction here. So ASTAR will be the dApp center for a load of smart contracts to actually plug into from the likes of Ethereum, Cosmos, other Polkadot parachains, and more. We're going to check out dApp staking, the multi virtual machine layout that they've got going on and their layer two support in just a second. 
From here, you can see the A-Star Network portal where you can check your balance, get involved with staking your tokens through various dApps, receiving those sweet staking rewards and all of your history. I think they're gonna have a very clean UI for this one and I can't wait to get using this once it all does go live. The A-Star token is essentially the gas of the network. It's used for on-chain governance, staking, and for that layer two integration. They've got a wide variety of big backers here, some notable names in the mix, and major support from the Substrate Builders program and the Web3 Foundation. Additional to this, they have support from Microsoft Japan. So let's go a little bit deeper and see what I'm bullish on this one. They've put together a slide deck that we can roll through. So ASTAR rebranded from Plasm. They wanted to try and differentiate themselves from Plasma. And so to avoid any confusion, they've rebranded to ASTAR. So with Polkadot, we have essentially a blockchain of blockchains. So each of these parachains will be its own blockchain and will specialize in certain areas. So this one wants to have a smart contract and dApp hub. This means that different smart contracts in different languages can plug and play with the Polkadot ecosystem and benefit from interoperability. As we can see, from this diagram here plugging in with the likes of cosmos bsc eth and the dot ecosystem amongst others and they will support multiple smart contract languages making this very easy to integrate with and the major benefit here being the fact that polkadot doesn't support smart contracts by design so you need a smart contract hub and this is where a star is going to fit in they already have seven web3 foundation grants under their belt you can see from here we've got five already completed and more in progress looking at implementing zk and optimistic rollups major backing here from various institutions and they've also got a very large community of supporters across the globe here this is one of the things with polkadot and their ecosystem it's not mainly like a western project there's a lot of interest over in asia and so there's major money behind these things so setting out the problem here Polkadot Relay Chain doesn't support smart contracts by design, i.e. we need a smart contract blockchain. EVM compatibility is already plugged in as a Polkadot feature, but these guys are going after more than that. Platforms are all about network effects, but there's no financial incentives for early adopters. And this is something they're going to redefine with a staking program. And as we know with the Relay Chain, all of the different parachains will be interoperable, but these guys here at ASTAR will ensure that this is the central hub that connects various L1 blockchains from outside the Polkadot ecosystem, so those not built on Substrate. So a very cool feature here is the fact they have dApp staking, so almost a basic income level for any dApps that build on top of ASTAR. So with their block rewards, they're able to distribute some of these two projects to build so you would get a constant source of revenue just for building on top of a star and that's got to be a very attractive proposal especially to projects building on say ethereum that are stuck with huge gas fees which makes building very expensive you would almost get a subsidy in this fashion for building on top of a star they're also going for this multi virtual machine approach so languages like solidity and web assembly will all be compatible and deployable on a star and these will all be able to talk to each other as well one of the really cool things we will look at at the end of the video is the fact that you can actually utilize these tokens on your MetaMask. So they're going to be very, very easy to use. And that is one of the complaints I have of Polkadot. The Polkadot JS wallet is not the most simple to use. People are used to using MetaMask. And if you can solve this issue, I'm sure you can easily onboard a ton of individuals. Layer 1 bridges are coming, connecting all the major blockchains. And Layer 2 scaling solutions like ZK rollups and optimistic rollups can be enabled. So those ETH smart contracts can directly integrate with ASTAR and take advantage of this lower cost environment on Polkadot. So with this dApp staking program, this is one of the ways they believe they can build a network effect as they will be able to heavily incentivize builders onto this particular blockchain. As we can see from this diagram here, in the example, they say ASTAR has a $1 billion valuation and they have 10% inflation per year. And through these rewards, half of these go to treasury and collators, but 50% goes to DAP stakers in the following format. So this would be a total of $50 million, 40 million of which would go to devs based on stakers voting weight and on-chain data, and then 10 million to the individuals who are actually staking to these various DAPs. So you can actually stake your ASTAR tokens 
to the DAP that you like best and ensure they get a better weighting and thus more rewards. So this provides a financial incentive to build on top of this network and a constant stream of income, which you don't see on any other network. So if you multiply this on top of any fees you're able to generate from your protocol, it could be very lucrative to actually launch on ASTAR. And as they put here, it's a win-win because the more dApps that are created, the more tokens that are therefore staked and the more tokens staked mean less circulating and the price therefore should rise, giving us a positive feedback loop on that overall valuation and thus the incentives would even be more valuable going forward. So this is super bullish for ASTAR and I can see this incentivization working out very well from them as we all require incentives to do the best we can do and I think this will just definitely onboard new developers into this ecosystem. In terms of those layer two scaling solutions like ZK rollups and optimistic rollups, they've already got grants to help enable these. We're also seeing this, the bridges they're trying to build out, Polkadot, ETH, Cosmos, BSC, Definity, Avalanche, and Solana. This is the current state of their ecosystem. Quite a lot of partners here and some notable names in the list. The likes of tier one exchanges like Kraken, partners like Binance, Microsoft Azure, and good relationships with other parachains like Akala, Crust, and Bifrost amongst others. So the utility of this token used for transaction fees as gas. As we've seen, there's that staking element as well, locking up those tokens for on-chain governance. They also have a nominated proof of stake consensus method as well. And of course, for those layer twos, to come and interact with ASTAR, they have to deposit some of the token. So a very fast and furious end to the year here for ASTAR we can see here they hope to have their parachain launched an eth bridge built out and a bsc and cosmos bridge as well looking into q1 of next year listing on binance huobi and okx plus a solana bridge avalanche bridge and dfinity bridge and so plenty going on here and this ecosystem is going to really take shape over the next six months now let's look at the tokenomics and how well distributed these are going to be so what I like to see here is the fact that the team are only getting 5% of total tokens. This is a very good distribution method. We're not seeing them absolutely inundated with tons of tokens, in which case they may be tempted to start dumping. 5% seems very reasonable for me. Institutional investors get 10%, 5% for marketing, 5% for the on-chain DAO, 10% for protocol developments, 5% for a parachain auction reserve. And then for people like myself who got involved with the lock drop, those existing users get around 30% of the total tokens and then 30% of tokens distributed to the parachain auctions. So across these lock drops, as we mentioned, they've received 150,000 ETH. Most of these have now been returned unless you locked in for a huge duration. And so I got airdropped a load of PLM or Plum tokens. They will rebrand once they have a new ticker enabled. But during this process, I didn't really realize what I was getting. I knew I was going to get the Plum tokens, but I didn't realize I would get the Kusama version Shiden as well. So that was a very welcome additional airdrop to have received. And I think giving 30 and 30, so 60% of your total tokens to individuals who have not bought them, but have instead got involved with a lock drop or the crowd loan process ensures that you really distribute these tokens to those who believe in this network. So I think this will be highly decentralized and well distributed. As you can see from my balance here on the portal, I've got 182,500 PLM tokens. These will be redenominated and changed into the new token, which is likely to just be called a star and i think the ticker will likely be a s t a so there will be a monetary value to these bad boys and on top of this i got 182.5 shiden tokens ticker s d n this has dropped down a bit it was up towards eight and a half dollars the other day now it's currently worth around a thousand bucks to me but it was pushing towards 2k so very nice to get involved with these kind of things lock drops crowd loans these things that only cost us opportunity cost are very worth getting involved with in this ecosystem due to the fact you get a healthy payback plus you get your original tokens back at a later date as well so for me it's a real win-win if you got involved with the lock drop previously and you don't know how to get your eth back drop me a line down below it's very simple to do essentially all you have to do there will be an address down here that you need to send zero eth to and then it unlocks your ethereum that you had in the lock drop in terms of their developments here over on their medium page you can see that they have an evm launch event with an nft being dished out a hundred of these i believe will come out tomorrow they cost 99 
SDN tokens a piece. So these guys are definitely getting involved with the NFT hype. Sota did actually mention that NFTs are an area they really want to go after and we'll be looking for NFT based dApps to deploy on ASTAR. We're also seeing some projects added to their builders program. They put forward a $30 million ecosystem fund already to promote new dApps to deploy on top of them. You can see partnership here with Microsoft Japan and they were also involved in this, a $2.4 million fund led by Binance Labs. And one thing that I learned recently was that Binance may well allow the crowd loan to go and partake on top of Binance itself. So similarly, like on Kraken, you can get involved with all these parachain auctions direct from their exchange, which makes it very easy for us. You don't have to then mess about with this Polkadot JS wallet up here. You can do it all direct from the exchange. And if Binance do this and they've got their blessing, I'm sure that these guys will be one of the front runners to get the first parachain slot as there's just so many users on Binance and clearly Binance have a strategic investment in this company and have reasons to get it a parachain ASAP. So if you go over to parachains.info, you can see all our Polkadot parachain hopefuls here. I'm not exactly sure what this is weighted by, but you can see up here we have Akala at the top. These guys have received three Web3 Foundation grants. Most of them have received like one, but of course, ASTAR has received seven. So one of the biggest number of grants received by any project here on Polkadot. Again, a reason to be bullish on this one, as clearly they have the tech to back up exactly what they're trying to achieve. I think this will probably be number one or number two in terms of receiving a slot. There's going to be a big fight here with Akala, but they are symbiotic with Akala, Back in February, Akala and Plasm completed the first successful cross-chain token transfer on Polkadot's parachain testnet using cross-chain message passing. So although some friendly competition, you can see these are two of the biggest front runners in the whole of this ecosystem. That was a momentous moment in Polkadot's history. And then here recently, Sota put this out, MetaMask integration audit now complete. So MetaMask is now compatible with the Shida network and the integration audit has been completed by Quantstamp. So although we're going into a brand new ecosystem with Polkadot and parachains, you can see they want to make the user experience very easy. They want to have things that are ETH compatible and for us to be able to use MetaMask like we typically do, which will help onboard lots of new users. So I think Polkadot season is about to kick off and we're going to see the true effects of these parachains very shortly. I'm super bullish on the Polkadot ecosystem. So the parachain crowd loans are a potential highly lucrative investment to get involved with without really spending much money. You're just locking up tokens for a 24 month duration and receiving ecosystem tokens in return. And if Moon River was anything to go by, this could make you a pretty penny. Now, if you'd like to see more breakdowns of other parachain hopefuls, drop me a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and I'll be happy to cover some more here very soon. It's going to be a big Q4 in crypto and Polkadot is going to be the talk of the town. Now, thank you for watching guys. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.